Good morning. Today I'm down here at Lady Walk Nature Reserve. Let's see what we can find. So I've made my way to Riverwalk Hyde, which as I've said before is one of my favourite hides from the reserve as it gives you this beautiful panoramic view. Well there was actually a fair bit around today, like some widgeon on the far side, I've seen a red shank and there's plenty of lapwings flying about as well. Actually as well as a fair few little egrets knocking about as well. As the light is actually fairly decent for once, I've been trying to focus on birds in flight, primarily the lapwings. So if you've ever photographed lapwings before you'll know that they're quite tricky, so I'm around 2,000th of a second on my short speed. F9, as that's the lowest this lens will go. And I've been sort of balancing my ISO to, you know, where I get a correct exposure. I've been trying to track them as they sort of bank around and come towards me. But um, it's not always that easy when you're at 800 mil. As, you know, I'm trying to fill the frame, but it's also so easy to lose them. So uh, there's a bit of trial and error going on. I've taken maybe around 100 shots so far. And there might be maybe one or two I'm kind of happy with, let alone like. A bit of trial and error doesn't hurt anyone. And uh, I'm just going to carry on shooting away and see what I get really. Other than that, I think I'm going to spend some time in this hide, just chill a little bit, got my coffee, and, you know, just enjoy myself and then enjoy the nice weather for once. Still in Riverwalk Hyde, just minding my own business, saw a bit of movement from my bottom left, <laughs> zoomed in with the lens, and there's a beautiful great crested grebe, like who had just caught a fish. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Gotta give it up to the great crested grebe today. And this little fella's managed to catch himself two fish, so a uh, fair play to the guy. So I've just spent around about an hour and a half, maybe two hours in Riverwalk Hyde. And I have to say, I mean, it was pretty successful. Um, in terms of sightings, I had two red shank, an oyster catcher, all those lapwings, the uh, widgeon. So really, really happy with that. So now I'm leaving Riverwalk, I'm gonna head to another hide called Bitten. Bitten Hyde is a bit lower to the ground. 
meaning that hopefully she's about to get some, you know, level, low level sort of shots. Of any look at least. But yeah, so far it's been pretty successful and check that out. The sun is actually out for once in stark contrast to my last video when I was exploring Wales, Wales even, where I got absolutely bloody soaked. So anyway, yep, I'm gonna make my way onto Bittenhide and let's see what we can find. Made my way to Bittenhide and as is Sod's Law, there is absolutely nothing close by. But I don't know if you can hear that on my microphone. Uh, there's a load of black headed ghouls going absolutely insane at Swans right now. So I might try to get some action shots of those two like interacting. Other than that though, I'm gonna like sit, I'm gonna chill. I've got all the time in the world, I have a coffee and just see what pops in. If something does, sick. <laughs> if not, then, ah oh well, once again, I'm just happy to be out. I'm not going to delve too deeply into it, but uh, I had a bit of a rough day yesterday and um, yeah, struggled a bit. So coming out here today, just enjoying nature, it was well and truly needed. It's difficult, you know, you get caught up in your work life and just stuff going on really. But when you come to somewhere like this where you can just sort of sit back, listen to the ghoul screaming, <laughs> yeah, it kind of a... Uh, puts things into perspective a little bit and, you know, I, need, I needed this, I really did. Just been around an hour and a half in Bittenhide, and you know, it's fairly successful. You know, loads of black headed gulls and all that. A couple of red shank, which is always nice to see. Tried to get a little bit of video of them, but always just like a little bit too far away. Left Bittenhide, and I'm now going to make my way around to Beehide or Ken's Hide as it's now known. It's essentially like exactly opposite where Bittenhide is, so probably going to see much of the same sort of species, but I think just as I'm walking around the north point of the reserve. I might just take some time to chill out and just sit on a bench and just see what's coming down the river, see if there's anything along the fields, opposite the river. So, uh, hey, if you see a small bird now, it means I saw something. <laughs> if it's another duck or a gull, that ah, probably means I'm at Beehide. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, eh?
so it's been a few hours now here in Beehide. I didn't actually expect to take so long here, but one of my buddies, uh, one of the fellow birders here at Lady Walk, could have swore he saw a mink like right in front of us in the reeds. But um, decided to stay here for an extra hour just in case. I set up this little bee camera, just, you know, eyes on the area, just in case, but unfortunately nothing really popped up. So, you know, there's always next time. And well, I guess actually, not seeing a mink might actually be a good thing. Um, they're a bit of an invasive species and they tend to decimate local wildlife by eating eggs and just killing the young, really. You know, maybe I wish I would have saw it, but ultimately it's probably best that I didn't and uh, hopefully there's no actual mink around here. Uh, the sad fact is though, we actually know there is. There's been a few sightings of them recently. But, you know, hopefully they move on to a different area. It's a shame, but, you know, they're lovely animals, but they're not good for the local native wildlife. Oh well. Coming on to my last hide of the day. This is a hide, and usually it's the first one you get to when you get to the reserve. I tend to go to Riverwalk first, but that's just me. So recently they split the hide. They built a sort of downstairs section. So, you know, it's now wheelchair accessible, which is really cool. This one it sort of focuses on the bird feeders directly in front. But a few days ago, there was a glossy ibis on my lake. I don't think it's about it today, but you know, I'm happy with some small, small birds. Sod's law, my microphone just ran out of power just as I was about to do my outro. But with that, I'm all done here in a hide. There it is. And I'm gonna make my way home now. You know, I've seen some pretty cool stuff today, but I just want to say thank you so much for joining me once again. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun, happy stuff. And I uh, just want to say thank you very much. Cheers, folks. This is how Lady Walk always goes. I get to the exit, and then a peregrine falcon turns up. <laughs>